Hello, my wonderful Aquarians. I hope you all are doing amazing. In today's video, I will be tapping into the energies of those of you that are currently not in communication with your person. So as per usual, I will be starting off with an oracle and we can clarify the existing energies with tarot. Okay. So we have commitment here. Okay, it says, I want you to be a part of my future. Okay. So, I mean, you are inquiring about someone that you're in separation with. So it could be letting me know that you were in a higher level of commitment with this person, or that could be their intentions as of right now. Okay, wanting some sort of a reconciliation, focusing more so on a higher level of commitment, pretty much wanting more with you or wanting a change in this dynamic. Okay, guys. So let's see here. Okay, so we have the King of Wands on the bottom of the deck. So some of you could be involved with the fire sign, uh, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, and we have the Queen of Wands as I split the deck. So there's definitely a lot of passion between the both of you, mutual attraction, okay? But there's also this level of confidence. I feel like it's either like two type A personalities coming together or, you know, you're standing firm on something that you believe in and this person's standing firm on what they believe in. But I will say they're very passionate uh, towards you and there's a lot, a lot of attraction here. Okay, guys, and individually, you guys could also receive a lot of attention, right? Whether it's you are in the public eye or you guys are just, you know, popular individuals here. So what I'm going to do now, guys, is I'm going to start off by seeing uh, how this person's currently viewing you. Okay. Now, something else that I'm getting here, um, Aquarius, is that... For some of you, this could have been a connection that started off, you know, extremely passionate. Maybe it was like a friends with benefits situation, or maybe it was just more fun and, uh, you know, kind of in the, in the moment. But maybe, you know, you started developing feelings for this person or they started developing feelings for you. It doesn't matter who developed feelings first, but I feel like something here you know, seems to be a bit unexpected, okay? Okay. Page of Pentacles is how they're viewing you, okay? So there definitely could be an age gap in this bond here. It doesn't have to be, guys. But mainly what I see here is this person is viewing you as someone who either has something to say, okay? Or maybe they sense that you are wanting to break the silence. The Page of Pentacles could be, you know, um, like a message or a phone call, that sort of thing. But if that's not the case, they can also be viewing you as someone who is learning something new about them or learning something new about the uh, connection that you guys share. Because the Page of Pentacles is you know, kind of like my student card here. So then we have the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, so this is definitely someone who's thinking about a new beginning, um, you know, the path to commitment with the Ace of Pentacles as well as the uh, commitment card. And we also have the Hanged Man. So this person's spending a lot of time thinking about how to offer you something stable. They may even want to do things differently here. So like in the past, they could have wanted a stable new beginning with you in one way. And now they're looking at it like, okay, maybe I want to do it this way. Or it's like a change in perspective, change in approach. Some of you could be dealing with the Pisces. Um, something else I also see here, guys, is your person may be paying attention to things that they were not paying attention to in the past. Um, okay, because the hanged man could speak about reading in between the lines or, or, you know, paying very close attention to the details of a situation. So there could be something that you've mentioned to this person. Um, in the past here and maybe you feel like it, you didn't really get through to them and I see them kind of you know again paying attention to something that they were not really paying attention to in the past and you know digging beneath the surface here so the way that you're viewing this person we have the death card in the way that you view them okay some of you could be dealing with a Scorpio but you definitely feel like there has been an ending between the both of you there's something that you're trying your best to accept here so the death card could obviously be symbolic for an ending, but it could also speak about, you know, transformation. So for some of you, <clears throat> you either feel like something changed in the bond or that, you know, something about this person changed and it could have led to an ending, 
or you anticipate that there has been a lot of changes since the ending has occurred between the both of you. So take it how it resonates here, but it's almost like you're viewing them as someone who is, you know, moving on or you're viewing them as, okay, there has been an ending and I need to accept the reality of the situation here. And it also seems here, guys, that like, um, you know, when you think of a new beginning with this person, it may seem very difficult or you feel like it would require a lot of effort to get things back to where they, you know, initially were. Okay, so that's how you're viewing them. So in your feelings, we have the judgment card, interesting judgment and the death card uh, in the same spread here. And we also have the seven of swords. There's something here that you're suspicious about. Okay, A, there could be obviously something that you're uh, suspicious about or you feel like this person's being dishonest with you. But what I'm getting here is there's something that you don't trust about this person regardless of a change that occurred. So here's what I'm getting at. Like even if, you know, the fact that you're in a separation with this person, it seems that you still do not trust them or you still feel like they did not make the necessary changes. Because with the Seven of Swords, you feel like there's some sort of strategic behavior going on. But this could also let me know that because it's in your feelings with the judgment as well as the seven of swords, you're trying to make a change or you're trying to completely release this person, but it's something that you're keeping to yourself. Okay. It's something that you're not, uh, you know, speaking to, uh, about, or you're not speaking about it to this person or anyone else. That could be the case as well. The seven of swords. Yeah. We have the star card. Okay. What else do we have here? The Nine of Wands. You're feeling a bit guarded in this situation is mainly what I'm getting here, guys. With the Nine of Wands, uh, you could feel like, well, you could have this person blocked or it's an energy of protecting your, uh, pretty much protecting your energy not because you don't trust the situation. And with the Star card, it's interesting because there is some sort of healing taking place um, on your side, but you may also be avoiding some sort of wishful thinking. Because how I'm receiving this download is, not only has there been a change or the ending could be the very thing that's coming up as a change, you feel like something did not change even though the dynamic changed. So something to do with this person. So if you felt like they were dishonest or if you felt like they were hiding something from you, you still don't really trust the situation wholeheartedly. And nine of wands in the star card could, could, you know, could let me know you are healing, you are trying to essentially um, maybe let go of the hurt here but nine of wands kind of lets me know that you're kind of guarded towards this person a and b you're avoiding some sort of wishful thinking or you're um you're trying your best to accept the reality of a situation and it could be with the star upright you're trying to be you know you know you're trying to have some sort of faith in it or hope in this connection but you also feel like you know you can't fully um, believe that something is going to change so there is a bit of hesitant energy here the Ace of Pentacles is being clarified by the uh, Strength card, so some of you could be dealing with the Leo and the Three of Cups. Your question may, or your question here may be why things took very long, okay? So whether it's you feel like this person took very long to come forward with an offer, or you're, maybe you're wondering why are they thinking about offering me something now, and that's not what they were thinking about then. Now with the Hanged Man, what's the Three of Cups? Okay, the King of Pentacles. You know, this may be someone who wants to take you out or they have some sort of, uh, you know, good news that they want to uh, share with you here. Yeah, this is definitely someone who's anticipating a new beginning. I kind of just see a hesitant energy on your side because it's like, why now and why not then? Or quite, quite literally, there's something that you don't trust. So like if this person betrayed your trust in the past, you're kind of like, okay, I'm not completely over that. So with the Seven of Swords, you could still be thinking about some sort of betrayal here or something that your person has done. But with the Strength card as well as the Three of Cups, I do feel like for some of you, you may feel this person was held back in the past because they had another option. Okay, that's for a select few of you. But I, I see it more so as a question of what makes you want to change now or what makes you want to do things differently now. And with the Fool as well as the King of Pentacles here, this is someone and the Ace of Pentacles, right, who wants stability with you. They're wanting to take a leap of faith towards you. It may be very unexpected. I don't believe this person knows what, what the future holds, but I do feel like they have this urge to reach out to you. And it's interesting because we have the Strength card as well as the Fool card in the same spread. So that's kind of like being held back and then feeling like you're really fighting the urge to come forward. So kind of back and forth here. Um, so in their feelings, we have the King of Cups. So this is definitely someone who has a lot of emotions for you. And we have the Three of Swords. 
Okay, so they have a lot of emotions for you. It seems to be someone who wants to speak to you about how they feel and also they want to know how you feel. But with the Three of Swords, they are still hurting from whether this is, you know, betrayal, whether this is just a separation, the fact that they're not speaking to you. Three of Swords upright means your person is still in the process of enduring some sort of pain or they're still kind of like reliving or revisiting a situation that maybe it doesn't feel the best. Yeah, Five of Cups. They're disappointed when it comes to how things transpired between the both of you. Like they're aware there has been an ending. They're aware that you guys are in a separation, but there's this energy of them feeling like things could have been handled differently um, because Five of Cups is kind of looking at something and just being completely disappointed. Like, why did things work out that way? Or maybe I should have done this or should have done that. should have done that, right? So a lot of should have, would have, could have energy, but Five of Cups is more so dwelling or sitting in regret. We also have the Empress here. What's the Empress? The Chariot. Yeah. I feel like this person has a very deep desire to get things off the ground with you. I will say that Aquarius because with the Chariot and the Empress and their feelings, that's kind of like let's move past this obstacle or I still see growth in this situation here. But with the Three of Swords and the Five of Cups, I will say this is also someone who may view you as not wanting to invest in this situation because the empress and the chariot could be moving forward from a situation because you feel like you know it's not your job to fix something or you feel like you know you're at a point where you know your worth and the chariot is about progress so mainly what i'm getting here though with the three of swords and the five of cups coming out as the first two cards in their feelings <clears throat> It's someone who has a lot of regret for how they handle things with you. It's someone who wishes that uh, things were completely different between the both of you. And there's a lot of, I wish I did this or I wish I said that. Uh, Chariot, Empress, yeah, Six of Wands. I feel like this person still thinks about, you know, a new beginning with you. They still feel like it could be successful. But if I'm being completely honest, I think that this person may be holding on to more hope or faith than you are. Because what's in your feelings versus how you're viewing them is very different from what's in their feelings versus how they're viewing you. This person may, like, as of right now, they may even be trying to be very optimistic, uh, you know, about this connection uh, or, or, you know, about a new beginning here, like trying to avoid some sort of negative thoughts. Um, and with the Six of Wands, that does talk about, you know, victory, success, or a, uh, so a successful new beginning is what this person's thinking about. I also feel, Aquarius, that this person really wants your attention at this time. So there could be something that they're hinting to you. Um, some of you could be dealing with a Libra, Taurus. We have Cancerian energy as well. Okay. And it's interesting because we do have two kings here, but that could just be letting me know it's like a same-sex relationship. It doesn't have to be that there's someone else involved. Um, so let's see the potential outcome. Five of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles. I see this person um, feeling, you know, like they're like they're missing you, or they're feeling like an outsider in your life. But for the Five of Pentacles as well as the Seven of Pentacles to come out in the uh, potential outcome, that's someone who's spending more time observing. Okay, there may even be some sort of a waiting game, and if you feel like you have been, you know, experiencing some sort of a waiting game with this person, you may find that that's what is um, continuing to happen, and that's because your person is with the Seven of Pentacles. That is an energy of stability in terms of figuring out what works and what. It does not but it could also cause you to feel stuck because it's more so um analyzing your investments whether it's your energy whether it's your efforts that you put into a situation as opposed to figuring out um you know what to do next that's the next steps right because after the seven of pentacles we have the eight of pentacles but right now your person is in um, more of like an analytical period and with the five of pentacles here they're definitely feeling like an outsider uh four of pentacles yeah and the four of swords i feel like there will still the silence between the both of you will continue that's what i see as of right now and with the four of pentacles as well as the four of swords there's a lot of healing taking place there's an energy of being held back but also observing what you know could be done differently so let's go with let's go ahead and see uh what this person wants to communicate to you And I do feel like they're observing the connection with the Seven of Pentacles, but just being completely transparent, Five of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles, Four of Swords is someone who is still in a period of solitude. You know, it's not really an action-oriented energy. Could also be someone who's trying to attain more information about you because Four of Pentacles could be um, being held back from a situation because you don't know enough or you don't have enough. So, you know, with the Five of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles, this could also be issues pertaining to stability. Okay.
I have too much to lose. So for some of you, this makes sense because we have the uh, four of pentacles, which could be an energy of holding um, on to what you have, you know, feeling like you cannot have any more, or if you let go of what you have, there's no way um, you're going to be okay. Okay. And for others of you with the three of cups, and, and I did say maybe for some of you, there's more than just you and this person involved. This person could feel like they ha they have commitments elsewhere or it's hard for them to release something in order to come forward and, you know, be with you. Because it's interesting that the Ace of Pentacles came out, the Fool card, you know, the King of Pentacles, someone who is, you know, thinking about a uh, brand new offer here. But in the potential outcome, it's a completely different energy. It's more so someone who is thinking about what they could do, but they're very hesitant to take the next steps here. And Four of Pentacles quite literally could be <clears throat> afraid of letting go of what you have. So I have too much to lose makes sense. And then it, um, it says your intellect arouses me. Okay. So this person could find you to be, you know, obviously an intellectual individual here. And bottom of the deck, it says, I miss hearing your voice. Yeah, I definitely feel like there's a lot of missing because in their, in their energy or in their feelings, we do have the Five of Cups. I don't know what comes next. Yeah. And I think that's that seven of pentacles um, energy here, like observing what can possibly happen, desiring, you know, a commitment with you. But it seems like they either need to release something or they need to just take that first step forward as opposed to just focusing on, um, you know, is this the right thing to do or, or just kind of analyzing what has already happened. I watch your social media. So this is definitely someone who keeps tabs on you for sure. Um, but I just feel like there may even be an energy of them wanting to have like a heart to heart conversation with you. Hanged man, um, you know, beside the ace of pentacles could also be someone who's spending a lot of time, uh, you know, thinking about the situation and they feel like there's some sort of details missing, or it's like, I need to know more before I, you know, um, move forward or take my next steps and bottom of the deck, it says I am recovering. And we do have the, uh, four of swords there and the potential outcome, which speaks about, uh, healing, right? It speaks about releasing any negative energy and also just being in a period of solitude. So my wonderful Aquarians, that is what I'm getting for you this week. I really do hope you were able to find a message that resonated with you here today. And uh, thank you so much for your time.